The following video tutorial will show you how to make a box plot in Origin and edit the properties of a box plot. First, we will open the sample OPJ to display a finished box plot. Then, we will show step by step how to create a replica of that very box plot. First, we will replot the data. The data is plotted with the defaults for the box chart template. We will hide the workbook so that we can tile these windows side by side or top on bottom and then adjust the features until the two match. To begin editing we will double click the plot and bring up plot details. First thing we will do is turn off incrementing color so that the box plots can use the same color instead of following the increment list. Next, we will change to box plus data instead of just box. Notice the points are now displayed beside the boxes. Next, we'll turn on the option to show the distribution curve next to the scatter data. Clicking apply, curves have now been added to each data set. Next we'll change the bin size to match the distribution in the sample graph. Apply those changes. Next we can change the line thickness and then the line color. And now change the symbols for each of the data. Next, we will change the color and width of the box itself. We can specify a custom color using RGB. Applying this change, you see the boxes now match the blue of the plot below. Next we can alter the various marks at the percentiles.
and now we will change the layer background color using the same type of RGB uh, dial as we did for the box itself. Now the plot matches, but we should turn on some grid lines and modify the axes as well to match. Now we can turn on grid lines. Notice only horizontal grid lines are on in the reference plot, and so we will only turn on horizontal grid lines here as well and change the line type from the default to dot. We can also, in the same dialog, different tab enter an axis title. You can now choose to display the layer frame, which nicely bounds the plot. We can also choose to delete the legend to match the reference plot as well. We can add a title from the drop down menu that results from a right click at the top. and increase the font from the menu, from the icon, rather. Now tiling the windows vertically, you can see that the two plots compare very nicely. This concludes this tutorial. Thank you for watching.